Hello everybody. Today we are going to talk about setting up your credit card processing account with SW Remote. When you submit the paperwork to set up your credit card processing, SW Remote will go ahead and set you up with a PayFlow Pro account, which is actually part of PayPal.com. They will set you up with a PayFlow Pro account that act as your gateway for your credit card processing to connect up to your processor. When they set you up with a PayFlow Pro report, they will be sending you over your PayFlow credentials in an email, just like the one I have here. So you open up this email and you'll see some things. You will see the web address that you're he heading to, as well as your login credentials that you will need for the master login for the account. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up the link to the PayPal website. And this will open up the PayPal site, and this is ultimately where you will log in to view all of your credit card transactions and do all your reconciliation. So you may want to bookmark this. In addition, in the email that you was sent over to you, you will have the login credentials here for the master account. So you can go ahead and copy your login. Now the login is case sensitive, so you do have to make sure that the partner and the merchant and the password are also capitalized when you're logging in. And you will also be given your password here as well, and you can go through and change that password at a later date as well. Upon entering in the credentials, you will be able to then log into the PayPal website. The first thing we're going to do here is go into the virtual terminal. And this is where we're going to check our credit cards. And inside the virtual terminal, we're going to go down to single transaction. And again, this is how we will run a single transaction in the future. We come here to first enter in some information about the transaction. You go through and you select a tender type, and then you select a transaction type. Since we are just keying in a car here to make sure it works, we are going to select a sale as the transaction type. So I'm going to run a sale at this point to capture the funds. At a later date, if you were to get a call from a customer and need to run a credit card in your office, you can come right here and do a sale transaction just like we're doing here. And then it will prompt you for the credit card number. So you can go in and enter the credit card number. And then you will click Submit. After entering the credit card number, it will ask you for additional details on the transaction you are running. So you will first select the expiration date. And then you can go in and do the amount. Those are the only two required uh, steps here when you're filling out the credit card information. You can go through and add additional information, especially if you're doing a sale at a later date. You may want to put in the first comment here who ran it so that you have uh, access to that information later. So for example, I might just put Greg D here showing that I ran this transaction so that at a later date when we're looking at reports, they know that they can ask me questions about it. After I enter in the pertinent information, I can go down and I hit submit and it will actually submit the transaction and then it will pop up with an approval. As long as I get an approval here, this means that the credit card processing is indeed working and is set up to run credit cards. After you confirm that the credit card is indeed set up, please call the SW Remote support team so that they can set it up so that the devices will then be able to use the credit card processing piece as well. So once you confirm it's all done, you should call them and they will turn it on for the devices. In addition, if you have multiple card types, such as MasterCard, Visa, Discover, or American Express as accepted card types that you take out in the field, you're going to want to go through and do a test dollar transaction on all of those uh, different card types, just to make sure that every card type will work for your technicians out in the field. And that is how you go through and do test transactions. There are additional videos for refunding and crediting transactions. And once you're done confirming they're all work, you can go through and void out all those dollar test transactions if you would like.